love my Jesus. And if any of you's noticed, well, before I get into it, I'll tell you what the Lord just spoke to me as Brother Jamie began to sing it song. The door's closing. In tears, the door's closed. And I, I, and I prayed at the house and this is like one of those pop-ups. I had different messages, different places marked. And I was going to and fro and man, I was looking for an action of the Spirit. Amen. And when I sat down, Brother James, I don't know how many, he didn't get bring me words out. And the Lord said the door was closed and I heard it just plain as day. And he told me, I want you to turn with me tonight to the 25th chapter of the book of Matthew. I know I've read it here many times. You think about that, the doors close it. Jesus help us. Matthew chapter 25. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened to ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps, and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. And while the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, Go you out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go you rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. List this right here. And while they went to buy, you can't buy this kingdom we have. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage. And the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Give the Lord a hand and you can be seated. The door is closing. The door is closing. If you don't know Jesus tonight, tonight's a good night to get to know Him. We got to keep the oil in the vessel as Jesus began to speak this parable here about the ten virgins. As you go down and read, at one time their lamps, they were burning. I don't know how long I'll be tonight. One time their lamps was burning. But all at this same time, as I, I'm just giving this because I didn't do no, no looking over this. This just dropped in my spirit. I said, Lord, I'll go with you. I know when God begins to speak, I know. And he said, the door is closing. That may be speaking to your heart tonight. The door is closing. We better, we better get ready because I thought about today. A bear, but Jerome and Jamie have come on down. And I thought about how the dangerous times, perilous times that we're living in. And I'm talking about we're living down in the last days and the door is fixing to be shut. And if we're not ready, if we're not ready to meet Jesus, it's going to be too late. You may come and you may pound on that door. You may pound on that door. Jesus opened up. Jesus opened up. Listen to me tonight. Jesus opened up. What if you were standing on the outside and the door was shut? Jesus opened up. And do you hear a voice say, 
You know what? I never knew you. I don't even know who you are. You walked away from me. We better get on fire for Jesus. Listen this right what he said. There was ten virgins. Five of them was wise and five of them was foolish. And they that were foolish took their lamps. Listen this. They took their lamps. I believe the lamps had a little bit of oil in it, but listen what it said here. And took no oil with them. Listen what the wise done. But the wise took oil in their vessel with their lamps. We got a vessel. It's, it's got to be filled up with the oil. The oil represents the Holy Ghost. The door is closing. The door is closing, Pastor, and, and we preach our hearts out. And I surprised down in my bed and I said, Jesus, I need something from you to feed your people. They're not my people. And it seemed like I couldn't even get an answer. And I had some places marked in my Bible. And you may have noticed I was flipping back in two. After we'd said to him. And I was, I was looking. This, yeah, we get worried sometimes. I said, Jesus, I need a word from you. There's people that's, that's being weighed in the balance. I need a word from you to be able to touch that heart. That they'll get on fire for you. Because if we're lukewarm, he said he'd spew us out. Lord of God, we got to go to Jesus and stay with Jesus. And don't go out to this whole world. Because you know what's going to happen? There's a cry that's being made. Go you out to meet him. Go you out to meet him. Are you hearing me tonight? Not me or hearing the man that's speaking out of me. I'm just a man, glory to God. I'm a vessel. And I said, Lord, use me for your glory. While the bridegroom tarried, while he was waiting for, for his bride to get ready, I thought about it. I'm just giving this here just come to my mind. I thought about this just, just that quick. Lord, brought to my mind how that when me and my wife was getting married, how that I didn't see her that day, how that when when we came to the church house and Brother Gene, he's one man, how that we, he took us back into a room and I was waiting. You think about how that Jesus was waiting. He's waiting for his bride. I was waiting to see my bride. I knew she was going to be coming that way. Glory to God. That's the same way with Jesus. And the bridegroom tarried. He's tarrying right now. He's waiting. Glory to God. For you to come back to him. He didn't leave you. But you left him. Glory to God. And it's up to you to walk back. And come to Jesus. And get the oil back in your vessel. And take it with you. And where you can defeat the devil. In everything that he does. Listen to what it said while the bridegroom tarried. How many of us have seen this category? We try to say that we're not. They all slumbered and slept. How many times? You say, preacher, you're fixed. Yeah, it's all right. The mouth of confession is made unto salvation. How many times has the pastor? How many times has Brother Gene? How many times did Brother Robbie? How many times has different preachers come through and stepped on Brother Larry's toes? Huh? How many times has it got woke me up and got me out of my sleep, Brother Hunter, and said it's time to rise and get up? Let me tell you something, it's time to rise and get up. The door is closed. The door is getting going shut. You better get ready. You better stick with Jesus. The door is closing. Here's what they're going to do. This may be a mixture tonight. Because there's people that's lost in the house. Huh? I'm talking about they're lost in the house. And don't even know they're lost. Here's what they're going to do. They all, then all those virgins arose and they trimmed their lamps. I ain't talking about they didn't go to whittling off the side of the glass. Uh -uh. They begin to trim their wick. You trim that wick, you can get it to burn. There'll be a bright light. Amen. And it's down in that oil. But you know what? When they trim their lamps, you know what the foolish said to the wise? Give us of your oil. It takes the oil to keep the lamp from burning. It take, let me tell you something. You may think I'm crazy, but I know what God spoke to me tonight. The door is shutting. The door is going to close. The door is going to shut. You better get ready, glory to God. The doors are closing. The door is a closing. 
Stay you in Jesus. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us. I know I've just read this, but I'm, I've got to do it the way that Jesus given to me. Give us of your oil. Give me some of your oil, Pastor. I want to get in that place. I've read about that place. Give me some of your oil, Jason. I've read about that place that the prepared for the devil and his angels. The door's going shut. There's a cry that was made, but it was too late. They said, you go and buy. Let me tell you something. You can't buy salvation, glory to God. It, all, it was already paid for. Jesus already paid the price. And all you got to do is come to him and hook everything out for you. But the wise answer not saying, not so. I can't save my family, Sister Steph. I can't do it. I can be good to them. I can show them Jesus. I can love them. Show them all the luck that I know how. Because I'm done worrying. Huh? I'm done worrying. And you know what it is? I, I, I have I've come to that conclusion. If my babies, and I love my babies, if my babies don't like it, Sister Donna, I'm never going to know it. But while I'm here, I'm not going to let that worry me and water me down and kill me. I'm talking about spiritually to drag you. But the door, you know what it is? You know who's going to stand, stand in, in judgment? It's going to be you. It's going to be me. The one that's going to stand up before him and say, hey, I was a little preacher upon Hamilton Creek one night because he heard a voice that said the door's closing. He heard a message. Say, he heard me to stand up and he said, that little boy went up there behind the pulpit. And I'm telling you, I'm not bragging on me, but glory to God, that little boy was in tears. He was after your soul. I was in him looking for you. I was walking the aisles. I was walking down the seats. I walked up to you and said, I'm looking for you. You're, the door is fixing to shut. But you turned me away. Glory to God. What are you going to do when you stand before God Almighty Jesus Christ and look at him and he says, you turn me away. You'll be without excuse. You will be without excuse. When they said not so, there shall be not enough for us and you. But go you rather to them. Think about that. That sale and buy for yourselves. Man, they were so foolish, they went. There was a, there's a crowd that's being made right now. Go you out to meet him. How are you going to meet him? On your knees. How are you going to meet him? Calling on him. Huh? At your seat, he's right there standing right in front of you. He's walked right up to you. He's looking at you. I know you're hearing it. Glory to God, he's dealing with tonight. I know you're hearing it. He's telling you the door's fixing to shut. Time's almost over. It's almost over. He said, I'm fixing to shut. Oh, shut up my heart. He said, in my work, I've told you. He said, I come in the volume of the book, and you're going to be unexcusable. You're not going to be able to stand and make an excuse. You're going to have to come to Jesus. You're going to have to stay with Jesus. You're going to have to walk with Jesus every day of your life. Listen to this now. This is how foolish they was. And while they went, while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. The devil had tricked them. Huh? Have you heard about deceivers? He's the most subtle beast of the field. That's cunning. He's crafty, Brother Jamie. Paints a pretty picture. Makes everything look, oh, it's going to be so easy now. Huh? But what happened to those virgins that the devil painted a pretty picture before? And while, when the bridegroom made the cry, I know I'm going over and over, but you've got to hear this. You've got to hear this. That hammer's coming down. It's got to break up that heart. It's got to break up the heart tonight. It's got to break up the heart because the devil's going to destroy you. But Jesus came to make you free. Whom the Son is made free is free indeed. While they went to, to buy the bridegroom came. 
Wouldn't it be awful if you'd be out there in the world somewhere? That's what it's talking about. That's what Jesus was talking about. Why you out there dibbling in the world? Why you out there playing with the right one? And he was biting you, making you sick. I came. The door was shut. Then you came back up and you begin to knock. And I wasn't going to answer. Glory to God. He's not going to answer. That's what happened in Noah's time. Noah didn't shut the door. Larry ain't going to shut the door. Brother J.R. ain't going to shut the door. There's a door that's open right now that no man can close. And there's a door that's going to be shut that no man can open. That's what the Word says. Let me tell you something. People better get on fire for Jesus. Look warm. It gags him. Huh? It gags him. He wants you on fire. When you slumber and sleep, he sends somebody to stir you up. He sends somebody to dig about you. He sends somebody to put some fertilizer there to where your tree can burn, where it can grow and break forth fruit. Glory to God. But sometimes we don't want it. We got a rebellious spirit. Oh, don't rebel. Please don't rebel. I beg you in the name of Jesus. You say you're crazy. Get up here. I, I wish you could just feel just more what I feel. I, I wish you could feel just a little what I feel. Because let me tell you, don't you rebel. Don't you rebel. The door is closing. The door is closing. Don't rebel. Come to Jesus. Get up. Run to Jesus. While they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready, they that were ready, went in to the marriage supper. They went in to the marriage. And the door was shut. Listen to this. See this door? When it shuts, it don't have to have a dead bolt on his door. But see this? I got a key out here. If that's dead bolted and locked, without the key, you're not going to get in. Jesus is the key tonight. Huh? Jesus is the key. And you got to get him. And you know what happened? That door's open right now, just like this. It's standing wide open. And I, he's saying the door's going shut. The door's closed. The door's closing. Look at it. The door's closing. Get in. The door's closing. Let me tell you something. Time's almost over. And people's taking it lightly in this hour that we live in. But I tell you, the door's going shut. The door's going shut. The doors are closing. In Noah's time, Noah, no doubt maybe he wasn't like me. But maybe he was saying the door's fixed to close. You better get in. The door's closing. Noah preached for a hundred years in the making of that ark. Listen to Christ. Listen to the Christ. For a hundred years. Get in. The door is closing. But what did they do? Mocked him. Laughed at him, Brother Donald. That old crazy man out there, look at him. Look at him pounding. Look at him. He's gathering trees, him and his boys. They're just plumb crazy. But let me tell you something. There was a door that was fixed to shut that no man could open. Why? Because it was Jesus. It was God Almighty that had shut that door, glory to God. And they was on the outside and they couldn't get in. But if you come to Jesus tonight, you can be in and you can be saved. Listen to what they said. And the door was shut in verse 10. Afterward came also the other virgins. The wise ones went in with him. But afterward, here come the foolish ones. They went out there, they couldn't find it. Because you can't buy salvation. I don't care how much money you got, you can't buy Jesus. He's free, glory to God. You got to go back to what he said. You got to do what he said. You got to walk what he says. You got to do what his word says. You can't do what man wants you to do. Afterward came also the other virgins. 
saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm just finding God. Keep praying. Listen to this. The door was shut. You listen. Here's going to be the thing of it. When you're out there, you're going to hear my voice in here, but you ain't going to get to see me. Oh, Jesus, what a revelation. Lord, open to us. Open to us. You know what he's going to say? He's going to say, not so. He said, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I know you not. Depart from me. Do you want to hear those words, depart from me? Or do you want to hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Come well, enter into the rest of the Lord. Glory to God, there's rest in Jesus tonight. And you've got to come to Him. Shake off. Shake off the rebellious spirit. Get out of here now in the name of Jesus. I want the chains to be broken. I want it to be broken till you can come to Jesus and He can ponder the heart. Glory to God, I love you tonight. Jesus loves you. Please. Please. Come to Jesus. We're down to the closing. We're down to the doors fixing the clothes. And I'm telling you, there's a hell. There's a hell. And the devil's standing back laughing. He knows he's going there. He's standing back laughing. Look at him. Look at him wasting their life. I've almost got him. But Jesus, all of a sudden, He starts walking down the aisle. He says, if you good, you've got to come to me. That's what He says, glory to God. Because the door is closing. The door is closing. Come to me. And I'll give you rest. All you that are laboring, heavy laden, just come to Jesus. You can come right when I preach, glory to God. Come down to this altar. Let me tell you something. You may not have another change as you're having tonight. I know what Jesus spoke to me. The door is closing. You know what he done? But Jason, you know what he done? She played with the rattler. The rattler changed one word. Thou shalt not. And Jesus said, if you eat of this tree that I tell you not to eat of, you shall surely die. And the devil came through, that old serpent, he came through and changed one word, sister Donna. And he said, thou shalt not surely die. Glory to God. But Jesus said, thou shalt surely die. The doors are closing and if you don't get in, thou shalt surely die. Glory to God. And you're going to die death. Glory to God that you ain't one to die. I beg you tonight. Because Jesus is coming. He's looking for people that's making themselves ready. I'm talking about us marching with His Word. Huh? He's raising up an army that's looking just like that Word right there. People may laugh at us. People may say that we're crazy. People may say you're too hard, Brother Larry. But let me tell you something. The way of a transgressor is what's hard. You better come this way because I'm telling you the doors are closing. In Noah's time when he preached, he preached no doubt to his out of breath. Day after day, when he worked on the ark, could you imagine him? Maybe working an eight or ten hour shift. Then it was time of evening they come through and maybe he just started preaching to the people. Glory to God. And no doubt they mocked him for a hundred years. But it was all right. He heard a voice from heaven. Glory to God that said, Build you an ark. Jesus telling you tonight, you better build you an ark. And the ark better be me, glory to God. You better build up on me. You say, what's wrong for you, Brother Larry? It's the Holy Ghost. Huh? Jesus said it, not me. The door's closing. Think about that, Brother Travis. The door's closing. And Jesus is looking for everybody in here. I'm telling you, if you felt what I felt right now, you'd run to this altar. Because Jesus is coming. 
And he's coming back after people. Can somebody go around and pray with you? He's coming back after people that's made their self ready. He said the bridegroom, huh? He said the bridegroom's a calling tonight. Go you out to meet him. How we're going to meet him, we got to come to him. we got to kneel down at this altar right here because the doors are closed. The perilous times are coming, and you better get ready. What's perilous times, preacher? Let me tell you what perilous times is. It's dangerous times, glory to God. We're living down in the end. That dangerous times is coming. You know what they're going to do? Go over and read 2 Timothy chapter 3, glory to God. What it says, they're going to come against the Jesus name, people. They're going to come against us. They're going to mock us. They're going to try to put us down. But we've got to stand up in the name of Jesus for this what's right. Come on. Come on. Start out with Jesus. Say, Brother Larry, I don't understand. Jesus will make it to where you can understand. The doors are closing. The doors are closing. Swallow you pride. Shake off the rebellious spirit and say, I'm coming to you, Jesus. I messed up, but I'm coming to you, Jesus. I, I fell I fell down, Jesus, but I'm coming back to you. Glory to God. Come to Jesus. The door is closing. He's called. Huh? He's calling to the souls. He's calling to the souls. His call's going out. And He's wanting you to come. He's saying, come. And the bridegroom says, come. He's saying tonight, the bridegroom. Uh, the bride says, come. We're, we're, we're giving the invitation. And Jesus is saying, I'm dealing with you. He's standing right in front of you and telling you the door's closing. It's almost over. He's walking down through the aisles. I'm just not done, glory to God. Unless the Lord gives me another wind. Let me tell you something. I feel the urge of the Holy Ghost. There's more than one. There's two that needs to pray. Well, glory to God. There's two that needs to come and pray tonight because the doors are closing. The doors are closing. The doors are closing. You better come to Jesus. The doors are closing. You're not going to hide nothing. Everything's naked in his eyes. I'm telling you. I may not be big educated, but I know Jesus when he speaks to me. And I'm bragging on him tonight. Keep praying, Megan. Huh? If you ain't satisfied, you keep praying. That's what the problem is. You know what? We need to cry loud and spare not. Huh? Cry loud and spare not. Every place that we go into, we need to tell the people the doors are closing. Jesus is a coming. And He's coming back after a people. Listen to that. He's coming after a people that's made their selves ready. Are you making yourself ready? People says, well, we don't have to do it that way. Well, why did Jesus change me? Why did He tell me to stop doing some things that I do? I'm not the same person I used to be. August of 2014, glory to God. Jesus changed me. I just take a closer walk with Him. Glory to God, you can take that closer walk tonight. The door's closing. The door's closing. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. In the name of Jesus, come. In the name of Jesus, come. Come on, pray. Let's pray with you. Come on. The door's closing. Huh? There's more. There's more. I'm not going to give up. There's more. And if you're afraid tonight, you know what I'd do? I'd get out of my seat. If you don't feel, if you don't understand what you're feeling, I'd get out of my seat and I'd come to Jesus and say, Jesus, give me an understanding. Give me an understanding. Huh? He's coming. I tell you, Jesus is coming. The devil, I pray in the name of Jesus, the devil get his get his chains off the young children. Because gee, get your chains off of the devil in the name of Jesus. You better run to Jesus because the door is closing. The door is closing. Please come to Jesus. The door is closing. Please come to Jesus. We're weeping. We're weeping. You know what it's going to take? 
I'm just by the Lord. You gotta swallow your pride. We gotta swallow our pride. Listen that. Listen. Ain't gonna be long. Doors closing. Can people hear it? It ain't going to be long. It should, look here, this stirred me up tonight, Sister Donna. I got families lost. How many of us got family lost? It ain't going to be long. You think this is a game? This ain't a game. When the Spirit's dealing with you and knocking on your door, you better come. Jesus, Lord Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Jesus. Have mercy, Jesus. Have mercy, Jesus. Please come. Church, let's pray. Church, let's pray. Oh, Jesus, let's pray with him. Let's pray with him. Talk to Jesus.
Jesus. Lord Jesus. So you can have this experience, no. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Jamie Sainz. You know what we got to do? I'm telling you, he's still calling. 
He's still calling. Because the Holy Ghost is still calling. It's the Spirit that's still calling. You know what we got to do? We got to come to Him. Come to Jesus. Lord, in your name, Jesus. Your name, Jesus. He come to put families together. You got to come to Him. If we mess up, come to Jesus. Jesus.